Hi guys, this is an overview of my Pirates of the Caribbean Lego collection of uh, London that I have here in London. You have seen all the reviews of, the, of each set in details in the individual review. Now I would like you to have a, a brief view of the overall collection and uh, just to see where I take and I keep this uh, beautiful parts of the Caribbean set but let's go seeing them in details as you have seen I have these uh, glass shells in my bedroom they were already here, there I didn't make them uh, for the Lego but they are perfectly fit for uh, for this set the top shelf is occupied by the white cap bay and is a big a big set so you can see that uh, it fit perfectly and uh, uh, all the shelf uh, uh, is dedicated to to this set. You can see the mermaid here, the the lighthouse, and everything you have already seen in my detailed review of this uh, set. The third shelf, instead, is uh, a mix of two different sets. On the right, you can find the meal. You can see the meal. What a beautiful set! Look how it is great in the, as a whole. While on the right, on the left, sorry, on the right, the meal, on the left, there is the cannibal escape. I will zoom on it. You can see beautiful cage, as I described in the review. Uh, Jack Sparrow with the throne and the fire in the front. So basically, this is the third shelf of my collection. I put also some snakes on the floor, you can see them, very nice. The shelf in the very bottom is dedicated to the smallest set of the collection. Starting from the left, we can find the Isla de Muerte, with the, you can see also Elizabeth Swan with the red dress. Then going to the center, you recognize the Fountain of Youth with the three captains and behind the, the waterfall of the Fountain of Youth there is the captain cabins look with the bottles and all the soldiers of Captain David Jones so this is my parts of the Caribbean collection wait a moment you haven't seen the ships, correct? Yes, because they are too big to be contained in these shelves. And so, in a minute, I will tell you where I put the two ships of the Pirates of the Caribbean. And here they are, the ships. Uh, look at them. They are so big that they cannot be put into a shelf, so I have to put on this uh, uh, wardrobe. There are in the front the Queen Anne's Revenge, you recognize it, you saw in the review, and uh, in the back, all black, the famous Black Pearl. Look at them now, I zoom. Look, they, they fit perfectly all the wardrobe, with, uh, and especially the Queen Anne's Revenge is very, very big. But look at the, at the effect, they are. When I woke up in the morning, <laughs> I can see these two ships that are pointing towards me. If you look from another perspective, here they are. Now the Black Pearl is in front and following a little back, a little behind, sorry, there is the Queen Anne's Revenge. Look at the details of the of the sails and of everything I've already shown you in my review. If you see that poster on the back, well, you recognize that is the wardrobe and the place where I do all the reviews of this set. So this is a, just to give you an overall view of my Lego Pirates of the Caribbean collection, but if you want to see in details uh, uh, one or all of these sets uh, go to 
uh, the review section of my website and you will find it.